everybody, Brian G. Johnson coming to you live, really excited to take some time out of my day and make a very specific uh, video for a very specific person. However, it's for everybody out there. And if you find some value in this video, awesome. So check it out. However, first, warning, disclaimer, disclaimer. Brian Johnson's about to make a video about smoking dope, doing drugs having a drink in the evening or in the morning or any time that you might happen to drink. And Brian passes no judgments on those people that do those kind of activities. However, if you're someone that is thinking enough is enough, well, then this video might be able to help you to move forward. Okay, disclaimer off. Okay, so what is this crazy guy, what's this video all about? I just saw uh, a video from Jason Moffat. Now, Jason, I guess, recently had a birthday. Hopefully, I wished him a birthday. I try to get out and wish everyone a happy birthday. And he mentioned in this video that he's made the decision to go clean and sober for one year, which I really applaud and I think is uh, tremendous. And what I wanted to do was share where I've been with that whole kind of uh, smoking pot, drinking, the party guy, uh, the guy that's still functional, and that's a word you used often. I wanted to share that with you, so hopefully uh, I can give you some perspective of, of per possibly what to expect, to also know that you've got plenty of support for me, and I'm available if you want to reach out, and so on. So, uh, the day was October 20th, 2013, and uh, to that point, I had probably been drinking for about 12 years. You see, actually, the story really starts uh, when I was about 19 years old and I started smoking a tremendous amount of marijuana. Now, I was a true professional, and some of you chumps, ha, you think you were uh, dope smokers. No way, man. I had that uh, gig all sewn up. Because, you see, I do things 120% or not at all. So I was smoking on the way to work. Uh, smoke half a joint, the other half goes under the mat for the return ride home. I was smoking in the cooler at work because I was a professional chef, and most professional chefs smoke in the cooler, right? I was smoking in the middle of the night because I had some, and their bomb was right there. Why not? I smoked all the time, and uh, it got to be too much, and it did start impacting me, and uh, with that, I got into a program, and it took me about three years, but I quit. And I haven't had uh, 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 any pot or marijuana for a very long time, since I was about, uh, for over 20 years now. I quit around 26 years old, I think, 25, 26, something like that. So I, I smoked pot for a long time. I was able to quit. And I didn't drink, I didn't smoke for about 10, 12 years. But on my second honeymoon with my second wife, Amanda, we went to the Bahamas and I started having these lemonades. And it turned out that they were lemonades at an all-inclusive resort and everyone parties their ass off, so they had some booze in them. And uh, I continued to enjoy the margaritas uh, for the last dozen years or so, right? And I was plenty functional. Functional. This is something, Jason, you spoke of all the time, that, you know, hey, but I'm, I'm functional and I'm functional. And that's awesome, and I get it, because I was the same way. You know, I've sold thousands and thousands of products online, and I'm proud of that. But what I'm really proud is of my ability to help people get results, to create tremendous trainings and uh, programs, and, and to coach people, and to set them on a path of success. And I've done it again and again. But at the end of the day, who cares? Because right now, today, I'm alive. And I have the opportunity to be the best B to the G to the J. Boom! And that's why I quit. So functional is cool. But you know what? Functional is kind of like, well, I'm kind of being OK. I'm kind of like walking through life in a mediocre kind of way when I'd rather kick ass all day long, take names, and be the best Brian G. Johnson possible. So, when I finally got to that day, October 20th, 2013, in Austin, Texas, after a rock and John Fogarty concert, I said, enough is enough. I feel like crap today. I've got big plans. 
I'm writing a serious book, like in bookstores and in and, and New York Times bestsellers. And I want to move forward and do all these things. And I want to be the best I can be. And this isn't helping the hangovers, the, the, the foggy mind. So I quit, and it's been a long time. I mean, it's almost July. Tomorrow is July 1st. And I gotta tell you, man, I feel like a million bucks. My face is a bit thinner. I look a little bit better. I've probably lost about six or seven pounds. And this is really where it gets awesome. I eat ice cream like every freaking night. And I don't, you know, I'm just kind of maintaining. That's why I quit. Because I have stuff to do. I have places to go. And I can't have anything holding me back. I took it in my own hands and I said, I'm going to do this. And it's not just about the booze because, you know, last summer I hired a personal coach and I dealt with some demons that were slowing me down. I started examining the things in my life that were holding me back. And I, you know, I spent good money in order to do, uh, to do just that. Uh, I did all of these things to really examine and take away so, so many people in life, they're trying to find the thing that will make them better. They're looking for the key to life. They're looking for the very best method to make money. They're trying to figure out the missing key to move forward. And what I want to tell you is there's a really good chance that to be the best you possible, maybe you need to think about removing something. For me, it was uh, dealing with my demons, getting that straight, spending the money, taking the time, doing the work, so I could know what's what. And I could put those mothers to sleep. Number two was getting rid of the booze because I didn't have the opportunity to feel bad in the morning. I had an, a, a, a serious project that needed my full attention. These are the things that I've taken away. So Jason, congratulations. It's going to be awesome. And I want to put something uh, to your mind here. I would invite you to reach out and contact me and say two, three, maybe four months after you've been down this path and uh, you still haven't uh, smoked any dope, you haven't done any drugs, you haven't had a drink, and when it's been two, three, four months, I want you to send me a private message and I'm going to ask you a few questions because I want to, uh, I'd like to be a part of this with you. And I uh, encourage anybody to, uh, to learn more about what Jason's doing. He's putting up a Facebook group for support and whatnot. I know there's a couple brothers out there. Uh, Seth Larrabee, uh, he's in the same boat. We both quit around the same time. And uh, he's, he's doing well in that department. So congratulations. Uh, you're awesome. Way to go. Uh, I'm sure you're going to inspire a lot of folks. And it's time to be the best you possible, baby, to have that clarity. So, boom, go get them. Cheers, bud.